1989, and it's a street fair day. Uh, look at it. You can, you can even get a, a shirt to remind you of this wonderful occasion. Thousands of people, millions of things to buy. It's a wonderful, wonderful day. The temperature has never been lovelier. I hope you were here. Oh, hi, Robin. Hi, Jim. You're here at the uh, street fair again. You, how many years have you been coming here? I don't know how many years has this been going on. I've been here, I think, every year. Oh, then what have you seen different over the years? Have you well, it's gotten big. It's gotten mean, really big. More, more people. Oh, yeah, they go all the way down the street, and up Short Street, and up Glen yeah. Street. But... And how are you doing as far as selling? Oh, really good. Really, really good. good. So have you got people to come back every year yeah because they yeah. know you're here well also um, because I sell clothes people can keep oh. trying out new styles and oh. uh, go from they start at t-shirts and then they move on to buying dresses fancy things like that yeah what, yeah. what you got uh, now that's real fancy anything new and different um can you see the beagles up here this is the a beagle. new design that I made up last week the beagles on the sweatshirt the beagles on the sweatshirt have you got some favorite designs that people always look for? Like they come in and say, I want the geese or I want or the... Or I want the chickadees. The chickadees? Chickadees. Let me uh, show you a chickadee design. This woman down here on <laughs> is picking one up right now. Oh, could you hold that up? Oh, that's that's a favorite, huh? Chickadees on rose hips and. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, there's another one. Yeah. Yes, they are yeah. nice. Yeah. So chickadees have always been popular, and uh, my tropical fish. I do a lot of tropical fish. Um, puffins. There's a pink puffin T-shirt up there. They're standing. Yeah. Up. What I've started to do is a lot of endangered species. I'm really oh. interested in uh, wildlife, and so I've done a lot of mountain gorillas. And so this really alerts people to uh, what's so. endangered. So you, so you've got two messages. You want to make a living, but you also mm -hmm. have a message for mm -hmm. uh, the general public. Mm -hmm. And well, uh, part of my proceeds go to the Endangered Wildlife Fund. Too. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's your... Uh, your My contribution. Yeah. A real small. It's not a big big part of my proceeds, but part of well, it does Well, I too. think that people should know about that, Rob, and I think very few people realize that there's that aspect to your business. Yeah. And it's a very important yeah. one. Yeah, good. Well, thanks very much yeah, for letting thanks us for talk stopping. with you, and uh, we'll see you next time at the street fair. I'm sure I'll be here. Too. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bought six. I got I get one the day, but I don't worry. We're here at the Yellow Springs Tree Committee booth, and uh, Jim Olden's here. Uh, he's staffing the booth today, along with other uh, Yellow Springs people. Jim, how long has this committee been going on here? This this committee to uh, be sure that we have enough or more than enough trees in Yellow Springs. Well, if you want to know how long it's been active, they take a look at the white pine in my yard, which. Uh, John Whitmore counted at 26 years, oh. a couple of years ago. Oh, so and that's I, the committee has been active since then. I got then. that tree as a gift of the committee. We're going out in Ellis Park and working for about four yeah. hours, transplanting white pines from one place to another in Ellis Park. They said, your reward is this white pine. So I put it in my yard, and there it is now. It's about... Well, oh, feet tall. My gosh, that's well, all right. It has made a difference. It's a difference people can see in 25 years, can't they? Well, the, the main thing is yeah, that the, the streets of Yellow Springs are now decorated with trees. Did you uh, get a shot of that uh, map over there? Uh, that shows. Uh, that shows where trees have been where planted. the trees have been planted by the committee. And you ask for funds every year, of course, to help uh, finance this. Uh, tree planting. Well, anybody that uh, wants to uh, contribute is welcome to contribute. And people who, who would like to have a tree... Uh, they they uh, call you, or somebody on the committee, yeah, if they, they want call, a tree? They call Lloyd Kennedy or Evelyn Lamars or, or anybody in the group. Yeah. Now what do you do? Do you advise them what tree would be appropriate for the space they're we looking let, at, thinking about? Oh, they, yeah. Give them a list that they can choose from. 
And they usually find one that is their favorite or the favorite of a person whose memory there. Oh, they do, they do memorial trees also, yeah. yes. And they get a little plaque that, that tells who the uh, tree is in memory of. Well. And it's a, it's a worthy uh, way of decorating our parks and Gaunt Park and Ellis Park and uh, several other parks here in town have trees now that were planted in honor of somebody. The memorial trees. But then you also, uh, would the tree committee help a person if they wanted to uh, uh, pick a tree for in front of their house, for instance? Yes. Uh, we, so. cannot, we cannot plant any trees in, on private property, but we can certainly advise people. You can advise. Yeah. Where to get them and help them get them. Well, it's good to see your booth here today, and there are things to buy here that are uh, trees, little trees to buy. And uh, so it's a really uh, great contribution to our town to have your committee. You are going to be so glad. It's not a decision you paid all day. Uh -huh. John, you're now about ready to be interviewed here. John, John, we'll wait right over here. <laughs> See, that's the okay. Thing. Okay. This is this is channel 35. Oh, this is channel 35. Yeah, yeah. Now get serious. Okay. Uh, what are you What are you doing here today? Yeah, we're, we're grilling brats and nets. And, and uh, bratwurst is a uh, uh, sausage. It's a cooked sausage made out of. Uh, Pork and veal. It's uh, light in color, and the uh, the mats are a, uh, a beef Polish sausage. It's not quite as uh, spicy as some Polish sausage, but uh, they're very popular and down so, in Cincinnati at the ball game. They are. And now, how are they here? Are you selling lots of them? Yeah, we're selling lots of them. Oh, today. Yeah. Now, what are you going to do with all this money here? Okay, the you money. Buy? Okay, the money goes for eye care activities, both here in Yellow Springs on a national level, plus some other things that we support here. Oh, other things. Come on, tell me Good. what those well, are. Well, we've given have. money to the, the uh, Friends Care Center. We, all, uh, we also uh, do diabetes research. Uh, we support research at Ohio State, University of Toledo in, in eye care and in diabetes. Yes, sir. Diabetes to be one of the leading causes. One minute. Come on up. Yeah. Well, uh, one so, dollar? so all one this dollar. eating you, of Thank this high-calorie stuff... And, uh, uh, everybody uh, needs that <laughs> cholesterol <laughs> shot <laughs> once a day. Huh? <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, uh, you're doing all right here today, right? Uh, we're, we're glad you're here and we can... Let's have a map. we got to get the heck away from here. There's too much business. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, John. Okay, Goodbye, Thank Lions. you for coming. <laughs> you. Uh, here we are. We're at a, a booth. That, this is the second time you've been here. Uh, third. Third. Third time you've had this booth. You're Drew. Uh, Drew here. Kenny. Drew Kenny. And uh, Drew has been about what? Uh, Seventeen years old. Maybe he's one of the youngest people in uh, having booth here today. And uh, Drew, what are you selling? I'm. Um, I'm drinking one. They're really good. But tell the people what it is. It's um, a lemonade shake. Up. It's just homemade lemonade, more or less. Sugar, water, ice, and lemon squeeze. So you shake it up. It's good. Yeah. It's, it's delicious, and you don't put too much sugar in it. It's very, very refreshing. One bite for one of these. And, uh, what, what can you figure you're going to make today? I noticed you've got a lot of people, got four, four people working for you here. So um, you've got to pay a staff. Yeah, how about two, three hundred dollars? Two, three hundred dollars for after, after, I, after you pay for the staff. Lemonade. Well, that's a pretty good uh, day's work. And of course, you did work yesterday getting ready. Yeah. yeah. It's not all... I spent a lot of time yesterday getting ready. And uh, tomorrow, we'll spend some time. All right. Well, this is a place uh, on a hot day today, like today, to come for a cool drink. Thanks very much, Drew, for letting us uh, visit here at your there you great are. Thank you very much. This is uh, Donna Parker. She is the Chamber of Commerce uh, representative here today, and she's the one that really did all the work getting this stuff together. Come on over here, Donna. Um, Next to the right, trash. Right. Next to the <laughs> trash can. <laughs> oh, these are our fancy new trash cans too. And uh, where where are they from? 
Uh, the village has provided these, which is a wonderful thing uh, because it keeps all the trash off the street and, and the fair looks clean and neat and more pleasant. Yeah, it's, it's really a, an addition to the fair. Now, uh, you've lived in Yellow Springs long enough to see the fair evolving. Oh, how can we how can we stop that music right in the middle of a good interview? What do you see as uh, the future of the, the uh, street fair? Well, it has evolved from uh, really a sidewalk sale when the merchants got together and said, let's just put out some things uh, on an agreed upon day. And it's gotten bigger and bigger and, and now you see it's, it's a pretty big, big street fair. But for the foreseeable future, I think it will stay just like this. We don't plan to um, expand beyond this because we want it to be mainly for Yellow Springs people um, and to stay the way it is now yeah. and not get really uh, much bigger than this at all. Well, all right, that's something I'm sure is going to be talked about by a lot of people yes. oh, because I know people are making a lot of money today and uh, can, see, um, can see making more money and making it bigger. Right. Yeah. And uh, it's... Um, we, we probably better stop this interview because the band's going to start playing and then we, we just can't uh, hear, hear, that's right, we can't compete. We can't hear ourselves over all that noise. It looks like it, a wonderful day here. Everything's uh, going very well. I think so, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks very much for talking to us. Oh, thank you. Here we are out with Dorothy Hyatt. Listen, Dorothy, I've never seen you at the street fair before. I always left town before. How come? Well, I didn't have anything to sell. Oh, okay. Now, how come you got all this today? Woo. Well, well I used that. to run a program that took students to study in Columbia. And every time I'd come back, I'd bring something in my suitcase. And I lived in a bigger house than I live in now, so I had lots of room. Now yes. I live in a small house. And I don't have room for all this stuff, well, so I thought maybe somebody else would like to have some. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. And uh, how, how are you doing as far as Really good. Uh, you think you're going to get rid of quite a bit today? Yeah, I, I'm surprised. People are buying the things I thought would be less so. They're buying first. And they are not buying the things I thought they would go first. Oh my gosh. So it shows that it's a good thing I don't run a store. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, these are these are ceramics, aren't they? Yeah. Oh. And, but they do have a little bit of sound there. They are made by a lady who lives way over the mountains in a little town. Let me have three dollars. Oh yeah. We got a new business. Money does change hands at the fair. It's a whole lot of fun, but the the purpose people are here for is to make some money. Well, I just want to get rid of this You stuff. want to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> 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 oh, I also want to get rid so, of it. Uh, yeah. So, Dorothy, I hope this is, uh, you know, you get rid of it just yeah. like you want to. You get the prices you want. And it's really nice to have this unusual kind of um, well, good. material at our fair. I'm glad to be here. So, thank you very much. More fun than I thought it would be. Oh, that's good. This is an interesting piece, isn't it? Sugar. And I've been doing face painting here. Just a minute, don't don't say anything. I gotta wait till Steve gives me the food. Okay. <laughs> this is Melissa Larson. Uh, she has been doing face painting here at, at the street fair for two years now. So she is an expert. She is probably the most experienced face painter in Yellow Springs except for some of us older women who have been right. doing it for decades. Yeah. And uh, I learned from you. <laughs> oh, you learned, you learned from your mama? Uh -huh. Oh, that's, you, that's great. Somebody that knows where it all comes from. The source of wisdom is from mama. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, when somebody comes with a face, a lovely face like that, do you ask them, uh, what would you like, or do you look, how do you decide that you're going to put balloons on her face? She decided that. Oh, she did. She decided to do so you, you do the rainbow. You uh, ask them what they want. Uh -huh. It isn't that you look at the face and you decide this face needs this with, or that. With children, I do. With children, Sometimes. you look at the face. But it's pretty much their decision. I mean, they decide pretty much what yeah. they want. Yeah.
Well, this is indeed uh, gilding the lily, uh, but it's part of the, the fun of the fair. And this does wash off, does it? They're all water soluble, they're non toxic, they're from Switzerland. Now, uh, the finest face paint you can use. Oh, okay. Water soluble, non toxic, hypoallergenic. Oh, okay. Well, we're glad to know that. We want everybody to come away from this fair healthy and happy. Thank you very much Thank for, you. for uh, being part of our tape. Thank you. Uh, customer. So, uh, uh, listen, here, here we've got a couple of customers. Yes. We've been talking to all the people that are selling things. What did you buy? What did you, well, wait a minute. It's, this is Clarence Thomas, the dentist, and Marilyn. Preschool, ECE. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Hi. A, a, a co worker. And uh, what did you buy here today? Oh, look, this is a hand woven basket that we bought uh, a couple of stalls down. And uh, Marilyn wants to put it on our front door and put assorted flowers and dried arrangements and things like that in there. A little bit different <laughs> from your traditional wreath. Yeah, right. that, that's right. very nice. Feather man, most of the time. Yeah. Well, listen, it's good that you're down here getting things that you want. Yes. And uh, we can testify that all the people that are selling are having a good time. Good. Thank you, so, Have fun. <laughs> Pleasure. Take care. All right. Uh, we, all right, then, then would you come yes. over a little? Yeah. Let's have brownies. Oh, here, no, wait. Here's, here's Phyllis. We're in the Senior Citizens Center. You can tell that. You hear the voices behind us. This is Phyllis Jackson, and she is selling some of the uh, baked goods that they have. Baked goods and other things they have here today. Uh, Phyllis, what's your big seller today? Is it the big seller so far has been cookies, things that people can eat on the street as their windows shut up. And we have a, a large variety of cookies. We have brownies, we have uh, coconut cookies, and we have uh, oatmeal cookies and chocolate chip cookies, and we have muffins. Well, listen, uh, uh, how long do people have to come in here and buy? Just about a few more hours. It's nearly 1 o'clock. Yeah, we should be here till 3 o'clock. Okay. Darn People get down here early. The senior citizen stuff is here early, and you need it while you're walking around. This gives you substance while you're going through all the booths. Yeah. And uh, uh, what do you use this money for? That you get. I mean, you're getting, you're making money. Oh yes, we're making money. This is a fundraiser for the senior citizens. It's one of the two annual fundraisers we have, and we use this money to support our programs here. Okay. Now, who bakes all this? The members. The members. The members they bake, bake this and donate it. They bake it and donate it. Oh boy! Well, um, you, I, what do you think you're going to make today? I mean, just off the top of your head. Well, we expect to make three to five hundred. Three to five hundred. Oh, we that's hope that we great. Oh, well, that's great. And there's going to be a lot of happy people as they're munching this at home around the street. That's right. Well, thank you, Phyllis. It's, it's really nice being here. Well, thank and, you for uh, coming back. And. Uh, for you to talk to us on 35. Here's something really fun. Something really fun. Robert Michelle. Yes. Is is the uh, a town artist. Artist in residence. You live here in Yellow Springs. Yes, I do. And uh, he's down here uh, sketching today. Uh, Robert, uh, when I have noticed you down here before, have you been down on other uh, street fairs? Many street fairs and in Yellow Springs, I mean. In okay, Yellow Springs. Thank you. Yes. And I was just coming out here on most Saturdays over the summer. Oh, coming out to scale. Yeah. All right. Now, um, how long have you been uh, sketching? You've been doing these, these. This is really quick. I mean, 10 to 15 minutes. That's yes. terrific timing. Thank you. Thank you. Really? Oh, five or six years. Oh. Now, are you making a living out of your sketching? No, I'm not. This is a, a what do you call it? A hobby or? A well, hobby is something I enjoy doing. Yeah. A little bit. Good, yeah. Because this is, I mean, this is a whole day, and you're concentrating, and you're, oh yes, and you paid for a booth too. I mean, correct. Ten dollars, wasn't it? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. You mean it's gone up? Twenty-five. Have you got one booth or two booths? One booth. One booth. Twenty-five. I'm always paying 
twenty dollars here. I have a little bit less than three. Ah, well, so you've got to really, uh, you've really got to work at this to make some money today when, you, when you've got that overhead. Um, yeah, I thought about not getting the food because, see, I have Roger Hart's permission to get in King's Yard, but I thought, why not be out in the main street? Yes. You know, okay. mix Has it, it made a difference, do you think? Being out in the main, um, you know, you're I don't right, know. right here in the middle of everything. Yes, in the and, thick of it. Yeah, in the thick of it. Can people find you with all this color around? Is there one? Right. Have you got some regulars that come in, you know, and see how they've... Uh, Mostly I sketch people from out of town, strangers. Oh, really? Mostly people who never had their pictures sketched. Well, listen, you see, you're very affordable. Yes. You're, I, and uh, you're a wonderful... Uh,